Oh yeah, nice jumbo to start us out. That's Nate Brown from McArdle's Resort, Roger Cormier, Midwest Outdoors. We also got Tony Roach and Pete Frisch from Roach's Guide Service out here on Big Winnie, Northern Minnesota, chasing some jumbo perch. Awesome fish to start us out. We're keeping a few of those feet, on here. That's what it's all about. We're talking winter perch fishing in Northern Minnesota. It's gonna be a fun segment. Go, Nate. Another nice one. I'm still getting tied on. <laughs> You're popping them. Nice fish on the jigging wrap. There we go. That feels like a good one. <laughs> oh, it's a walleye. They're in here chasing perch. They're eating the same thing the perch are as well. That's the thing is these big flats, you know, everybody fishes on the edge, but all the food comes up here, especially in these higher sun days. These fish cruise up here, there's bait. You know, you gotta think when you're in shallower water, it's a lot easier to track down your prey than when you're out in the deeper water. So there's just so many days where all these fish will come up on top and then towards evening, they'll shift back out to the edges. You know, these flats, they're roaming all over them. They're not relating necessarily to a, a piece of structure that you can just hunker down on and keep catching them. It's such a nondescript area, almost all the same depth, little variations here and there. And the fish are just all over the flat, so that moving is key. Another one on the bull spoon. I like that color, that's glow slimy lime. He's bleeding a little bit. We're keeping a few for a fish fry, letting most of them go. The key to finding and catching these perch all winter long is always drilling holes. You know, perch are notorious roamers. They roam these big expansive flats. So drilling holes and staying on those schools is key. And it's incredible. I drill more holes perch fishing throughout the winter than I do any other species. Oh, another nice one. See the action of this rod. This is a St. Croix Croix custom ice rod. I'm using the 28 inch perch eye spoon. It's a medium light, fast action rod. Tony's got the perch seeker, which is a 32 inch medium light, extra fast. Both really good options from St. Croix for fishing these jumbo perch. You know, when we're rapidly hole hopping like this, trying to stay on these schools of perch, I like to use a heavier type of presentation, something like a jigging wrap or this bull spoon that's gonna get down there quickly. I might only fish for 30 seconds to a minute. If I don't see those schools, I'm on to the next hole. There he is. Just as simple as that. You know, I just moved 10 feet from where I was at. The fish just roam very, very quickly. And perch, you gotta stay on them. As soon as you catch one, you wanna try to get back down there as quickly as possible and capitalize on that school. As Tony said, mobility is key. I'm not seeing fish on the electronics. I stopped at this hole, caught three little ones quick, quick. Gave them another minute, the school moved on. Didn't see any fish, time to move to another hole. Man, I tell you what, these perch are absolutely digging this new VMC bowl spoon. They are just inhaling it fast as I can get it down there. What I love about the bull spoon is the fact that it's a heavy weighted spoon, but it's got a little bit of curvature to it. And of course, it comes in a lot of great colors, the perch, walleyes, a lot of species can't resist it. Just using the spoon, tipping it with just the minnow head. You can use a tail. Uh, sometimes loading it up with larval works really good out here. Like I said, that a lot of times it has to do with what they're feeding on when they're Spitting up minnows, for example, I always go with the minnow heads. Oh, there's a better one. When they're feeding more on invertebrates, I like to use the larva. There we go. They're just slamming this thing. Little tip for you. People know bigger minnows catch bigger fish. Doesn't always work when you're catching these perch all different sizes, but I sometimes try to go to a bigger minnow and use a little bit more of the body than just the head to try to weed out at least some of those smaller bites and stay on the bigger ones. Ooh, nice one. 
just a little bit more of the minnow on the hook, and then you get one worth keeping. Man, he just ate it too. These guys are on the feed today. That's what makes those days on the ice so rewarding. The one thing when I'm hole hopping out in the elements, I like to use either a mono, mono fluorocarbon leader combo. We're using an advanced mono, advanced fluorocarbon from Suffix. What I like using the mono fluorocarbon leader is that fluorocarbon's really abrasion resistant. So especially when number one species that's chasing these perch out here are northern pike. And when you use a fluorocarbon leader like that, you're not gonna break off if a pike hits your line. Pretty awesome couple hours of perch fishing, I guys. <laughs> it was a blast. I love perch fishing. It's one of my favorite things to do on ice. Drill a bunch of holes, whack a bunch of fish. What can be better? You get out there and enjoy this ice fishing season too, folks. With Tony Roach and the guys, I'm Roger Cornier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. <laughs>